nonsense, it's no surprise, is it? Hello, so how are we? Yeah, good. Uh, a little bit about me. I come from a long line of eccentric female Boltonians. Uh, one in six of us believe we've been abducted by aliens. One in three of us believe we are an alien. And these are the same ones. Uh, the only way to describe the rest, Take a Break is less of a magazine for me and more of a family album. You know what I mean? Honestly, I'm always picking up going, Grandma, look, it's Auntie Gail on page five. She's back on the ward. Seems I'm not the only one she likes to chase down the road with a cricket, that poor Gail. But you know, I definitely think that madness makes you more interesting. I have an Auntie Joan who was an absolute boa until she got manic depression and started knitting clothes for the hamster. It really gave her an edge. It did. But there is quite a lot of madness in my family, there really is. Get-togethers are an absolute nightmare. Honestly, at funerals, we actually bring an extra coffin. Yeah, it's awful. And I'll be quite honest, my mother and I, she's very ill. She's actually a heroin addict, bless her. You don't normally hear that, do you? Heroin addict, oh bless her, she will. Yeah. But she tries her best, but you know, motherhood just wasn't her skill set. She didn't get it. I once cut my head open, she took me to Morrison's, you know what I mean? <laughs> But you know, I'd like to take a minute right, to celebrate the attributes of drug addicts because there are absolutely loads and they get overlooked. I'll tell you one, for a start, they're very determined people. I've never met a drug addict. There's this, there's this myth, isn't there, that drug addicts are lazy. They're absolutely not. I once saw my mother ride a child's bicycle for six miles <laughs> just so she could sell us at the end and buy some crack cocaine. <laughs> Sorry, but that's commitment to the cause, is it not? <laughs> Thank you, druggie in the back. <laughs> no, but it's very difficult because I got my files from social services when I was 23, and I went through them, it was quite crazy. All these uh, words kept popping up. Sophie is rebellious, defiant and rude. Rebellious, defiant and rude, right? And I must have got to about seven years old, and this was the first file where it was ever mentioned about me. Now, I'd gone out with my social worker on a sort of dinner date, you know. She used to take me to McDonald's and talk about pox, you know what I mean? Which I felt very tedious. I felt very beyond that at seven. Um, and this is the file here, right? Well, if it pops up. <laughs> oh, there we go, thank you. Uh, Sophie was in a rebellious and defiant mood. On the journey back, she continued to tell me that she didn't like me, didn't like her foster parents, and wanted to live on her own. <laughs> To be honest, I've always seen myself, even at seven, in some sort of fully furnished Manhattan apartment, do you know what I mean? I never quite understood what I was doing in Bolton with all those bastards, you know. Um, and I could have she then proceeded to squeeze a half-eaten orange across my car seat. <laughs> what a madam. But you know, I must say, I've always been like this. I continue to struggle with life and jobs. Jobs, I'm awful at jobs, you know what I mean? I, I think it's the monotony of them. It's the fact that it's the same every day. I actually think it's very psychotic to do a nine to five because you know, you get, it's like every day your alarm goes bing, bing, bing. Oh, quick, oh, quick, quick. Get me little socks on my little stupid feet again. Oh, quick, quick. Go in the kitchen, put my little ham on my little bread and chop it in half. Put it in a sandwich bag that you pre-bought for your pre-made sandwich, you fucking psychos. <laughs> Continues, it? You go into work, you go, oh, hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. Hey, oh, hello, Sharon. Hey, Bob. Do you want another cup of tea? Do you want a cup of tea, Bob? Oh, yeah, go on, Sharon. Hey, hey, Bob, look. Look, it's 11 o'clock, Bob. Would you like another cup of tea, Bob? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, go on, Sharon. Hey, oh, oh, look, Bob. Bob, it's 2 o'clock. Do you want another cup of tea, Bob? <laughs> oh, yeah, go on, Sharon. and rebellious, but I am not fucking Bob or Sharon. I can tell you that. My time's well up. I'm sorry I ran over, didn't I? But I've had a fabulous time. Thank you very much. <laughs>